hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will do simple bending analysis of a sheet metal parts as uh, you can see here I have uh, did the analysis of this sheet metal parts and uh, in these parts I have uh, considered this bottom face as a fix and uh, force is acting on this direction on this face of uh, this sheet metal parts and if I can show you the displacement here so you can see that uh, with the force the part displacement is here and uh, if I increase my slider po position then you will get it more clear or I can give my slider max to 500 and then you will see the displacement so I'm going to explain you all this and uh, I, I will also show you how to read these values where are the principal stresses are acting where are the minimum principal stresses are acting so basically if I go to my analysis here then uh, I will explain you how to do the analysis how to apply to the material to the solid and how to mesh your parts how to fix the constraint which I have uh, fixed on this surface and how I have uh, applied the forces on this surface and how I created the results so <coughs> let's start and I will delete all this my analysis and I will start from the basic part so this is a very simple sheet metal parts with a 50 by 50 and with 5 mm thickness and uh, 5 mm internal radius with a length of the 100 mm so now to do the analysis activate the FEM workbench from this uh, area and here you will see the all the uh, install the workbenches and FEM is a default workbench and uh, once you activate the FEM workbench if you are not seeing this tools of the FEM workbench just right click and activate all the modules of the FEM and now this is our body and uh, it does not have anything related to the FEM so first we have to create a, a container which is here so this is the analysis container and all the things related to the FEM which we are going to apply to analyze this part will come here so first step is to apply the material so here I have a click on this here icon which is uh, known as a material for solid so I selected my body and I click on material for the solid so here I am going to select S235JR which is the most common used material for the structural steel so here is the S235JR you can search over the internet to know its more properties so I will say ok so here are the two material has been applied I will delete this one so I will S235JR and I say ok so once you apply the material you will get its density its young modules its poison ratio thermal conductivity expansion coefficients so and specific heat so this is a very good thing about the free CAD that it is showing so much depth about the material and I will say ok now we will mesh our body so we will click on this G mesh tool and I will keep the things as default and I will say apply and ok so you can see that my part has been meshed and uh, here in the G mesh if you click on here gmesh version so it is an open source software and uh, it is using 4.10.2 gmesh so I am not going in in a much technical depth of the G, uh, this meshing but uh, one thing I wanted to clear is that the more the finer mesh would be the more refined result you will get so here we have applied the material we have applied the mesh now we will click on the mesh and press the space bar we will hide the mesh and we will fix our faces for the analysis so we will 
keep this face as a fix and we will consider it is a bolted or welded on any structure so click on here which is a constraint fix and click on add and add this face and it say ok now you can see that uh, this face has been fixed and you are seeing the symbol here and now we have to apply the force on this face so here is the option called constraint force so click on it and click on add and select this face now force has been applied but force is going in opposite direction so click on reverse directions so arrow will be reversed so how much force we are applying for this part so as it it is a 5 mm sheet metal thickness so we will see it with a, a 500 newton at a starting and we will say ok now we will click on our solver and we will run our result run solver calculations so we will click on it so it will take some time to run your calculation depends upon your PC configuration so here are the my results if 2 then it is increasing 20 then 3 30 so this displacement is uh, just for uh, to see the displacements of a part but the, your actual result will come at with factor 1 so this is the displacement with a 500 newton load so now we will close it and we will increase our load to 500 to 1000 newton and we will say apply so for better result we will delete our existing results and we will delete our mesh also because we have already mesh is visible here so we will click on the solver and we will run our analysis again so here are the results now we will go to, to the results so I will keep my slider to the 50 and now I will see my displacement here so for the factor 50 it is of too much displacement and I decrease my displacement you can see here our optimum result is with factor 1 so this is the actual displacement which we will get after applying the forces you can see that it has been shifted so now uh, we will see the other parameters so in the analysis I am not going much about this coordinate displacement X and Y and Z in upcoming tutorial I will cover this about this uh, displacement but here if you uh, click on the principal maximum stresses so you can see that that uh, in this blue area that uh, maximum principal stresses is acting and if I click on the minimum then you can see here maximum shear stresses you can see here in the displacement module so we can see that uh, this green portion is the is, is a fix so there is a no any stress so and in the red portions so maximum force is acting and this yellow portion is less so this is how to read the analysis results so we can see that at the top of the portion is a maximum stress is acting and now uh, here is a histogram which you can click and you can see the displacement so I will cover more about this uh, displacements magnitudes and here you can see the nodes and here is the dimension in mm and if I go to the bottom side so you can see the more properties about here hence user defined equations if I calculate it so so this is the none now we can see the stresses where it is acting so this is a very first tutorial on analysis of the sheet metal parts and uh, I will uh, go in more depth of this uh, FEM workbench in upcoming tutorials I hope you have liked this tutorial 
and if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel your small support will help this channel to grow i will come with more useful tutorial on a free cat thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time